Coach, another road win in the conference play. Just start with an opening statement. Yeah, just happy to get out of here with a, with a win. Um, faced some adversity in that game. We um, had an interesting day today with travel and um, both credit to our guys for digging down. We, we definitely had a point in that game where we could have broke and um, our guys responded the right way. You know, and a lot of credit to Pepperdine. I thought they, um, you know, came out and tried to protect home court. You know, it's a talented team um, that's had some injury issues and uh, credit to them for uh, fighting the full 40 minutes against us, but um, never going to give back a win, especially on the road. Um, and again, just happy to get out of here, uh, get our 19th win, and we know we have a lot of work to do between now uh, and Saturday. You had four guys finish in double figures offensively. Just speak on that side of the ball. Yeah, I thought we adjusted to the game better in the second half. Um, I thought we settled for, for some threes in the first half. Uh, didn't shoot as many of them in the second half. Um, figured out that getting downhill and, and trying to get to the free throw line and, and play at the rim was a better recipe um, against his team and uh, made plays when we needed to. So. Um, again, just proud of the group for digging down and, and finding a way. Okay. Coach Isaiah, uh, 10 points in the first half, finished with 12. Just talk about his performance. Yeah, he came in ready to play, you know, and I thought he did a good job of playing the three, playing the four, um, you know, playing the right way from an offensive standpoint. Um, you know, I, I think Isaiah is coming along. Um, our team needs that. Um, he's a really talented kid, a talented player, uh, and we're going to need him down the stretch to kind of be a, a Swiss Army knife for us. So um, that was a good game for him uh, and definitely recognized him after the game for his performance. Feels like the last few games, Marcus has kind of been slowing the game down, taking it into his own hands, and he's been shooting the ball a lot better. Just talk about that. Yeah, I mean, the foul trouble stuff, you know, we need to address that. Um, I thought he started the game well from an offensive standpoint and then got two quick fouls and was kind of in and out the whole first half. Um, but I thought he was aggressive at the right times, uh, made some big shots for us in the second half. Uh, and we need more of that, you know, we're on him for, for more. He's fully capable of, of doing that. Um, but proud of him stepping up and making some plays when we needed it. One huge piece off the bench was Robbie Beasley. Just talk about his energy and what he brought tonight. Yeah, I mean, it's a credit to our team. You know, we have a lot of guys on our roster um, whose minutes have been kind of all over the place, Robbie being one of those guys. Um, and I give him a, a ton of credit for just staying ready. You know, and when his number was called, he was ready to perform. Um, plus 14 in 14 minutes. Um, he just took it personally from a defensive uh, standpoint, and we needed that. You know, we were having a hard time getting stops, and I thought he really asserted himself uh, the right way from a defensive standpoint. He had a great voice. He just had bite um, to him defensively, and um, the game has a way of rewarding you when you do that, too. You know, he was three or four from the floor, uh, had a great back cut. Um, made a big three and stepped up and knocked his free throws down. So, um, you know, this is a guy who's played a lot of college basketball, you know, and he's performed everywhere he's been. Um, so I'm really proud of him. Um, he's just about the right stuff. So um, now he's shown me what he's capable of. So um, it's about wanting more now. It's probably a little too close for comfort for a coach, but this late in the season, it's important to close games out, especially on the road. Just talk about the maturity of the team this far. Yeah, I thought we had a chance to separate um, a little bit more. I think we had the lead at nine and kind of let them get back into the game by having, we had a couple fouls like 94 feet from the rim, which you can't do um, when you're trying to close the game out. But after we got through kind of that segment, I thought we settled down, um, stepped up to the free throw line, made our free throws for the most part, um, and made some key baskets. So. Um, you know, you have to do it a couple times before you really learn how to win on the road. And um, credit to the guys, we talked about just finding a way. I didn't care how we won, I just wanted to get out of here with a win because uh, winning on the road is hard. So we're excited to get, get out of here quickly, uh, get back to San Francisco, get, a, get some rest. Uh, and we're going to have a, a tall task on Saturday against Santa Clara. Defensively, uh, Michael Ajayi 
leading scorer in the conference. He only made four of his 14 baskets, 0 from 3 from deep. What was the plan on him? Yeah, I thought we did a, a really good job of team defending on him. You know, not just who was guarding him uh, individually, but I thought off the ball we were in gaps and tried to rake on his drives and um, just provide resistance from a team defensive standpoint. Um, but he's a heck of a player. You know, and he was a major kind of key heading into the game. You can't let Ajayi and Porter go for big nights. And I thought both those guys, uh, while Porter scored some points, you know, he's, I think, 20, 21 points on 26 shots. So it kind of turned him into an inefficient scorer. Um, so glad to, glad to do that on two really good players. You'll enjoy this one tonight, but you mentioned a big one on Saturday. Just preview that one back home. Yeah, I'm, I'm, we're already on to the next thing. Um, you know, we have a really talented, uh, really well-coached team coming into our arena on Saturday. Uh, it's a rivalry game for us. Um, you know, there's there's not a lot of love between the, the two teams. We take that game personally. Did not protect home floor last year. Um, you know, so we need to get back, rest up, and, and we're going to have to be a lot better from just a lock-in standpoint, um, you know, on Saturday.